Hello guys, in this video we will see uh, that what does it mean with by the arithmetic return and geometric return, what is the difference between them. Uh, so the learning objectives are for knowing the difference between arithmetic return and geometric return, how to calculate the arithmetic return and geometric return and when to use arithmetic return and geometric return. So first of all the arithmetic um, return it actually answered that if you let's suppose has invested in a stock in the last four years that what was your return in an average year over a particular period so in a typical year what was your return on an average right the geometric return actually answers that what you have earned annually during that particular period so what was your average compound return per year over a particular period so the main question is when we need to use arithmetic average or arithmetic return and when to use geometric return so we will answer it after a few slides in fact not few slides uh, so in two slides, I will be able to answer this question. But first we need to find how to compute it. So let's suppose if we have, uh, you have invested in a stock, say it's a stock X, and the return on, of that stock X in the last four year is this much. In 2016, it was 10% because you might have started investing uh, in that stock in 2016. In 17, it was 12%. 2018 a 3% in 2019 and uh, the return went uh, negative he lost money on that stock by 9% so the arithmetic mean is simply uh, telling you that each of this return there is a equal chance to uh, to uh, there uh, there is a equal chance that any of this return uh, can happen so you simply add them all together and divide them by four because there are four years involved. So 10% plus 12% plus 3% negative, then adding minus 9% and dividing it by four you will give you 4%. So uh, if someone will ask you that what would be the, uh, the return in the next year, then you will see that say that on an average, uh, I might likely to get 4% on this stock. Now, the geometric return answers something else. It tells that how much you have actually earned annually over this particular period from 2016 to 2019. So the formula is 1 plus R1 into 1 plus R2 into 1 plus R3 into if you have n year, it will keep going like this to 1 plus Rn, then raised to the power uh, the 1 divided by uh, n, where n is the total number of returns involved. In this case, we have 4 returns, so n will be 4 minus 1. So if you see that we have, we will first, this first expression, 1 plus 0 0.1 will give us 10% on our investment investment say our investment was just dollar one so it if you do this uh, calculation it clearly shows that after a year you'll get one dollar and ten cents one point one dollars right then you multiply for the next year the your one point one dollar uh you will get twelve percent on that so if you'll multiply this expression with this you will get the return obviously on your uh the the return which you got in the first year plus the principal of dollar one and you end up getting if you do the calculation you'll find it will give you after two years 1.232 so in the third year if you multiply in the same way it will basically give you 1.26896 and in the last year it will it should if in fact i should write it like this rather putting in percentage why not let's write in decimals that makes more sense 
so so this whole expression of at the end of the fourth year will generate 1.154754 this is the answer then raise to the power 1 uh, divided by 4 minus 1 now if you see this this clearly suggests you that after four years your return is actually 15 cents so 15 cents what does it mean uh, if you have originally invested one dollar that your compound return uh, in fact your overall return over the four year period is actually 15 percent but this is not yet your annual return so your annual return you will get it remember this is turning out to be the holding period return so the holding period return suggests you that you got 15.47 percent but if you take it's this expression the reciprocal one by four and subtract minus one your original invested amount you will end up getting the geometric return and if you calculate it you will find out that it will be 3.66 percent so you can see that the geometric return is 3.66 percent and the arithmetic return is four percent so if someone will ask you that what was what would be the return next year then you will see that in a typical year most likely the return will be four percent so which is actually your arithmetic return but if someone will ask you that over this particular period sorry 2016 to 2019 how much you have actually earned uh, um, annually right so your compound annual return was actually 3.66% which is less than the 4% which is your estimate for the next year so this is the next year estimate uh, if the next year will be a typical year right and this 3.66% is your actually uh, earned annual compound return <clears throat> so the arithmetic return tells you what you earned in a typical year and the geometric average tells you what you actually earn per year on average compounded annually <clears throat> so the arithmetic average is also the expectation if uh, for the future as well based on the past data so if the future year will be a typical year then most probably you will get the return uh, which is the average return if there is a difference between the return they are the returns are different like in this case in 2016 we have different return 2017 18 19 we have different returns then the arithmetic and geometric return will never be equal and always this will be the case that the arithmetic return will be greater this should it is actually ar arithmetic return is always greater and equal to geometric return but if let's suppose the return are same or all these four years say if it is 10 percent for each of the 2016 17 18 and 19 then for both geometric return uh, uh, for both geometric return and arithmetic return they will be the same which will be 10 percent in that case now what we have learned in this small video that what is the difference between arithmetic return and geometric return how we can calculate it and when to use arithmetic return and geometric return again the geometric return is the actual return which you have earned uh, annually over the particular investment period and arithmetic return simply suggests that in a typical year what would like uh, what would be the return or likely return say uh, next year or in, on in an average year what you have earned during the, the particular period thank you